Okay, so it's October 2023 and you may have bought yourself one of these new second generation 4K or 4K Max Fire TV sticks and found that a good old favourite mouse toggle no longer works. Well, we're going to show you how you can get round that at the current time using Fire OS 8. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, it's October 2023 and if you've got one of these new Fire TV sticks, the second generation Fire TV stick 4K or 4K Max, you will notice that you can't use mouse toggle. Unfortunately, it seems that the developer just hasn't made a version that is compatible with Fire OS 8. So how are you going to get around it? Well, I found the best way to get around it. Now, you're going to have to spend a little bit of money. And when I say a little bit of money, I do mean just a little bit of money and splash out on one of these OTG cables. Now, this enables you to plug in a wireless keyboard, a wireless mouse or a wired keyboard or a wired mouse into your Fire Stick. They're literally six, seven pound, I think, on Amazon at the moment. So not going to break the bank. And you can use an old mouse if you've got one floating around from a PC. I mean, you can just use an old USB mouse, one with a connector like that on the end of it. Or a mouse isn't, again, isn't going to break the bank. You can get one for less than £10. If you have a look in the description of this video, I've got the OTG cable listed there and I'll list a mouse as well. If you want to go really luxurious like I've done, then you can get one of these keyboards here, which has got the keyboard in it and a touchpad as well, which I find absolutely great. They are a bit expensive, but well worth it. So how do you fit them up once you've got them? Well, first of all, we need to turn off the fire stick because we're going to need to put this in line with the power cable just there. So what I'd recommend is press the home button on the remote control to go back to the home. OK, and then go across to settings and then down to my fire TV and then go down to sleep middle button and let the fire TV stick go to sleep. Count to 10 and then to make sure it's gone to sleep. And then what we want to do is after we've counted back down from 10 is to grab the fire stick and unplug the power cable, this cable just here. So there goes about 10 seconds. So let's unplug that. OK, and then what we need to do is we grab our OTG cable and we've got the female end there. So we just literally plug that in like so. And then the other end there, the male end, we plug that back into the Fire TV stick just into the side. It only goes one way and you can guarantee I'm going to get it the wrong way first time. There we go. I've just turned it around. And then hopefully the Fire TV stick should start to boot up. So the next thing we need to do is, as I say, we can use this with a wireless keyboard and mouse combination set. We can use it with a wired mouse, or if you just want the keyboard part of it, you can use it with a wired or wireless keyboard. It really doesn't matter. Now for this example, at the moment, I've just got an old mouse, which uh, was from a computer, as you can see by the logo just there. And all I need to do is I just need to grab the USB A, this section here, and I just need to, again, plug the mouse into there and it only goes one way around. There you go. It snaps in like so. And let's just open up an app that requires the mouse. Something like, I don't know, Internet. Let's just go into that. There's, there's plenty of apps that do require a, a mouse and they will all work. And there we go. We've got our cursor there. And if you can see there, there you go. I'm moving the mouse. I can click into there and then the on-screen keyboard comes up and then I can type away on my on-screen keyboard. Or if I want to get a little bit more flash, as I say, we can unplug the mouse and I can plug in the receiver for my wireless keyboard and mouse. OK, let's just do that. Make sure that the keyboard is switched on. 
And then what I can do is I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to navigate round if I want to. I can go into internet there. By the way, I should say, if once you've plugged it in, it doesn't work, then probably a good thing to try is to restart your Amazon device. And to do that, I'll just go through that quickly. Let's just press the home button on the remote control and press and hold the middle button on the remote and the play pause button until you get this message saying, your Fire TV device is powering off. There we go. Let it reboot with the keyboard connected and the little dongle connected. And uh, hopefully once it's rebooted, the keyboard and mouse should be fully active. Obviously make sure that the power switch is on. And if it still doesn't work, then try changing the batteries in your wireless keyboard and mouse. Because if you haven't used it for a while, quite possibly those batteries may have gone bad. So, right, the fire stick is just booting back up again. I'm just going to put the battery cover back on while it's booting up. And as I say, I can use these arrow keys to navigate around, go to wherever. So I'm just going to go into internet there. And as we see there, there we go. I can use this here, this touchpad to go in there. I can tap in there. Get my cursor flashing in there. And there you go. I can just type, type on the keyboard. So if I wanted to go to bbc.co.uk, I just type that in there. Press the play pause button on the remote or go down to the, uh, the next if it lets you. No, it doesn't. So just press the play pause button on the remote. Press enter here. And there we go. We've got the search there. And we can just move our mouse and click into it here. And like I say, you can use this. It doesn't have to just be in the internet browser, Silk. It can be in many other apps that you used to use mouse toggling. Like I say, really simple way of doing it. And really, it should work forever. So, and you can also use this as well. Not that you'd need to, I wouldn't have thought so. But if you wanted to, you could use this later on to expand the storage. So there you go. That is my top tip for getting around the problem with mouse toggle not working on Fire OS 8 systems on the 4K Max second generation and the 4K second generation. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, if it helped, then please consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel. Or if you're looking for any of the accessories shown in this video or even other accessories, then have a look in the description down below. We've got all the links down there. If you're looking for a VPN, then we've got links for that too. We've also got my Amazon shop, which features stuff that I've found useful in the past. So please have a look through that. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.